Referee Brazil against Argentina. And he's still the most fierce rivalry when it comes to national team football. The two captains tonight. So Robinho. Pride and everything else takes over. Who's the best team? Brazil have certainly had the edge over Argentina over recent years. But yeah, maybe things are changing now. Two new coaches, sets of players are, are different. And of course, there's always this man to enjoy playing football. Lionel Messi. He has been in splendid form for Barcelona. Well, both nations looking to turn the page on World Cup woes. Two juggernauts of Jogo Bonito. He promises to be a just up in the desert, perhaps. Renewing their vows Hasn't for the new Brazil coach. Since well, taking new players, eyes on the future. And World Cup 2014 is Ronaldinho. Thought that he could be going to a, a big European team maybe in January. Neymar. We saw him on the ball, be wearing number 11. Be anything but. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just like that some of the squads that he's picked already. Batista, there's a consistency there that we never saw with Diego Maradona in terms of who was absolutely magnificent form for Palermo in Italy. And Hel Di Maria back to Pastore. Scored a hat trick on Sunday for his Sicilian team at Palermo. Con Aguero, but I think we all know that Argentina, in terms of attacking players, is fantastic uh, strength of. Coming all over the European leagues. And have a look at uh, Neymar's precocious talent. And through the foul from Nicolas Pereja. Just uh, very quick there, the way he's shuffling the ball between his feet. Game. Well, lots of rumours continuing to swirl around Neymar's future. Chelsea, very, very interested indeed. He's signed a long term contract with his Brazilian club team Santos. Ronaldinho pacing out a run here. A shot on goal, the follow-up efforts. But it's just that consistency and you know every time he gets a ball, there's got to be a creative aspect to it. Ronaldinho and Neymar combining. Get back. Now Messi. Can hear the volume getting. And Hel Di Maria. Here's Messi. Nice touch on from Iguain, bringing Zanetti into the build up, and going for goal. The World Cup playing at the highest level in Europe. Here's Ronaldinho, slipping it through for Neymar. That's Sergio Romero able to pounce. Very much just in this team, and it's based on short passing, a little like Spain, the way they've been so good at it. And let's see if they can manage it. Zanetti onto Messi. Higuain making his run in the Brazilian squad, the centre-back David Luiz plays with Benfica. He's yeah. I was going to say, Adrian, I like him, I've seen him quite a few times for Benfica. Robinho swinging it wide, oh it's Neymar, he was looking for years ago. Was Argentina making inroads here, Messi. Time. In a small desert peninsula nation of Qatar. Di Maria against Alves, that's Real Madrid against Barcelona in club terms. Ronaldinho. Argentina, I think Javier Pastore are in between the lines of players. And they're going to be heavily involved in all the build up play. Messi. On to Pastore. Back to Messi. Di Maria in some space. Across the face of the penalty area, he dribbled. And the shot was blocked. Mina, I think. Yeah, and I think he's also keen to, to try and put away. And this is what he's going to face, isn't he, Leo Messi? When he does get in and around the final third, he's going to get plenty of players at one attack or test. Surprises, we had to wait 12 minutes for it. Ronaldinho, that's the culprit, and Mascherano here. It's late, it's clumsy. Cup finishes in a row as Danny Alves gallops forward. Good cross two for Neymar. Well, he attempted just to cushion it down in his stride. Take it around Pareja, but the ball getting away from the Santos Starlich. That's the expectation is that they're going to win them. Face down in the middle third. Argentina. Happy to hold on to the ball for a while. Milan and in this Brazil team. He's got to get more involved though in this game so far. Ronaldinho. And to Neymar, the follow-up shot. He's always skewing well wide. Came from Elias, one of the uh, domestically based players, and Mano Menezes has made a point of delving into the Brazilian domestic league. For, 
Suarez anchoring that midfield. That's Robinho, Ronaldinho and Neymar by Brazil in midfield. Now Neymar makes the incision into the penalty area. And it needed Mascherano to provide an escape this escape evening route. for Brazil. Neymar, a little flick on, almost fell. Ronaldinho's way! And, well, that would have been picture perfect, wouldn't it? Ronaldinho, the instinctive back heel. But right at Romero. Oh, look where he is there. And it's just the first thing in his thought, isn't it? Just to get to the ball and back heel it. Doesn't... The corner is a deep one. Nicolas Pereja, the intended target. The follow-up shot is pulled wide by Messi. He was in a very young and different-looking squad that Bob Bradley has taken to South Africa this time. Should be a fast Thank game. He's virtually sold out at South Africa Greenpoint Stadium. Breaks here for Neymar. Ronaldinho. Shift of feet, Danny Alves. It's Adrian, horribly got Andre Santos and Danny Alves for Brazil that will get forward and add width that and enthusiasm. And Javier Zanetti, so maybe that's the difference for this match. Here comes Lionel Messi. Barcelona. Sometimes the teams they play against aren't quite so aggressive and defensive. Game into the Argentina team. Across the tail end of their qualifying campaign. Benega lost out, but Messi has won it back. Quick give and go, exciting stuff involving Messi. Well, we saw a move just like that for Barcelona last weekend, Robbie, involving uh, Messi and Pedro. Absolutely, that's what I was thinking as the play was going on there. Double, or almost a triple one-two there, and, and Leo Messi's the type of play in and around those tight areas. Neymar, shaping the shoot. Neymar Messi, Special team championship, a couple of uh, invitees as well. And here's Neymar. Argentina bench. Oh, it's in this a couple of times now. The change of direction is, is excellent there from Neymar. The referee gets this right. There's no question that it's a penalty kick. To get their defensive zones, their areas, if you like. See Argentina now look quite well spaced, quite, quite compact. Now uh, Neymar injecting some pace into the proceedings. He really ran at that Argentina defence with real intent. He's won a free kick. That's what the game needs, isn't it? A little bit of for his team to make a break through. Ronaldinho and Andre Santos standing over it. It's Ronaldinho. Well, Sergio Romero made it look spectacular. Not sure if that was entirely necessary, Robbie, but the uh, crowd liked it. <laughs> yeah, I think they had. Uh... Mines up. Ramirez lost out, Messi doing the foraging, and very successfully. Messi available for the give and go, Higuain on to Messi, has Di Maria available, but went for the jackpot himself. And Victor in goal from Brazil was a worried man. Uh, brilliant football, started by this man and almost finished off by... Leo Messi there, look at how close that is, just clips the edge of the post actually, but it was fantastic football to get to this point, just swerving away a fraction isn't it James? Well, there's been some bad blood over the years, 10 years, due to a couple of broken legs in that game. Messi's effort was uh, really tremendous wasn't it? Many players making runs in behind defenders, and there's been a high line at times from both teams as well. And Elias fits the bill too. Neymar not going to get there. Ronaldinho wondering where the whistle was. Neymar, only Robinho forward in support. It skips around his man. As if he was an occasion. There. For Qatar and Doha, look at that, Sir Alex Ferguson and Zinedine Zidane. Four days, Ronaldinho with 4-4 four, four for Brazil. Danny Alves is one of them. Messi perhaps coming the closest to breaking the deadlock with a shot that grazed the outside of the post. The 95th meeting. These two old rivals and overall the balance of power 
couldn't be more even. Brazil have won 36, Argentina. Say about football, the English invented it, the Brazilians perfected it. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Lionel Messi. It helps his style. But there's no reason why this Argentina team can't. The defenders plays in a wider area as well than Higuain. Now it's Neymar doing the running for Brazil. Neymar looking to accelerate. He's off and running. Just a little sloppy on the through ball. Saw one from a similar position the first half. Oh, and that was... Uh, Almost more productive. He wasn't that far away from his reaction Clopped on the bench. And Ronaldinho in lots of space. And Romero holding on. Oh, he's got to do better there for me. It's a great ball from Alias. I think it was. It's set. Luetzi. Some tight, close control. Messi. Turn pass from Pastore. Not so often we see Messi and Barcelona disappear. And Ronaldinho looking to reconnect with Dani Alves on the volley. There. He was actually trying to pull it back across the face of goal instead. I think that's what he's trying to do there, but he just got it all wrong. Very little movement in front of him. Levetsi prepared to offer his services. Ronaldinho can pounce. And plenty of room to work with here. Danny Alves away to his right and uses it. A deep cross, might find an unmarked man. The header down from him. Every minute of the World Cup in Germany. Missed one game in South Africa. Well, there's certainly high pressure there. Dispossessed by uh, Eva Benega. Messi. Oh, he's had David Lewis breathing down his neck and reacted to... Some anger there, Lionel Messi lashing out. League most weeks. He's a little bit rash, isn't it, from David Luiz there, and Leo Messi can't get away, pulls his shirt. That's a big one. European power. Chelsea are interested. A couple of big Italian clubs. All the usual suspects, really. Yeah, I think Dunga has suggested that Juventus might be the best place for him immediately. Now here's Ronaldinho all along the ground. And Easy enough for Sergio Romero. Good first season in England with Manchester City, but then tailed off dramatically. Yeah, I mean, I think Real Madrid he had uh, a period where he was very good, actually, and the team weren't very good, but he was keeping them going with his own individual performances and goals at that time. Now, Messi trying to create something at the other end. Came Elias and committed the foul. In the process, conceding a free kick. Perhaps a productive spot here for Argentina. There certainly is there. It just comes back with two much. Messi standing over the free kick. Left footed delivery from La Polga. Losing out the midfield melee. Ronaldinho sweeping it forward to Neymar. Robinho trying to. <laughs> Curtains for Ronaldinho. It's Ronaldinho who makes way. Will he return? A few errors creeping in from players who are unaccustomed to seeing making mistakes. And Brazil have uh, earned themselves a free kick. Neymar, the player involved, tussling with Gabriel Einzet. It does well because he gets his body, doesn't he, in between. Andre. Now Messi. To ignite something for Argentina onto Lavezzi, and he's scampering forward. But even the mercurial Lionel Messi is not going to reach that. Into the, into the final third for both teams. But is it going to come late on from Messi? Messi has a path through and shoots. Yes, he's done it. Taking matters into his own hands in spectacular fashion, Lionel Messi, at last, at long, long last, seems to have won a game against Brazil. And look what it means to him, Robbie. Uh, just when we've given up on him and this game in general and the lack of quality, my goodness, straight away after I said these words, we get the quality that we've been waiting for all night long here. Driving inside, 
for once he gets away from the defending players and we've seen this shot from Leo Messi many many times a goalkeeper and everybody expects the ball to go in the other corner I bet this goes through the legs yes it does Thiago Silva so often the case and the goalkeeper just can't get across here driving across one way striking the ball across the direction of what he's going to see again the replay and how this situation came about because when Leo Messi picks the ball up there's players around him but they're certainly Brazilian their first victory against Brazil in some five and a half years and won by a goal that deserved to win any game at any place at any time thanks so much for the pleasure of your company our final scoreline reading here Argentina 1 Brazil 0 Thanks to Adrian Haley and Robbie Musto. Back with Steve McMenamin. Alexi Lawless, I'm Bob Lee. And